Hi, this is Amin, and in this video, I'm going to talk about GRE tunnel and IPsec tunnel. Because previously, I've made a video related to IPsec tunnel in the LT architecture, so after that, I've decided to make another video to talk more about IPsec tunneling and show you the configuration and the way it's going to encrypt the tunnels. So let's go for that. On the whole, we have a network, so when we send the data through the internet or maybe lots of router we do not have any idea about the way it goes so what do we need generic routing encapsulation tunnel which is a layer 3 protocol so as we can see the data will go through different hops and sometimes it is not very uh, desirable for a user for admin of the system whatsoever and the way to uh, stop this uh, process is to make a neighborship between them or do something that they see each other in a layer two neighborship or layer two adjacency how i'm gonna show you so let's pause this video go to the gns3 and uh, talk more about that so this is my gns3 i just started the network in order to save the time i set up the network before this video so all of them are connected to each other via EIGIP routing protocol so we can even write it here EIGRP protocol good so they are connected by EIGRP to each other and in order to prove that so I'm gonna ping from PC1 to PC2 however as I just started uh, I think I have to set IP addresses on the PCs so uh, let me just check to the console uh, show IP yeah there is no IP address so IP 192.168.1.2 slash 24 with the get we have 192.168.1.1 oops and in the PC2, just go to the console. And in the PC1, we can do ping 192.168.2.2-t. And here, IP 192.168.2.2 slash 24, 192.168.2.1. And let's see, yeah, it works good. So let's trace that trace 192.168.2.2. If you can't trace that, we'll see all of the networks 192, network 10, network 20, network 30, and you now it goes directly from all of the networks, all of the routers, one by one. So, what are we supposed to do? Just do the tunneling. We go to the R1, we do not need to. Do anything here the tunnel will start from here from this interface and will end at this interface so we need to uh, advertise these networks how so go to the config mode config terminal interface tunnel zero as a first and do no shot IP address 172 16.1.1 as it is a tunnel is a dedicated tunnel and just we need two interfaces so we're gonna use a slash 30 for that this is the IP address so we need a tunnel source which is 10.1.1.1 and we need a tunnel destination which is 30.1.1.2 and this is the whole thing about the tunneling. This is the source of that, this is the destination of that, and this is the IP address. So go to the R4 and do exactly the same. Enable config terminal, interface tunnel zero, no shot, and IP address 172.16.1.2.255.255.255. And the tunnel source exactly vice versa from the tunnel source and destination R1. So it would be uh, 30.1.1.2 and the tunnel destination 10.1.1.1. .1 .1. 
here and here. So we have the tunnel, good. But uh, if we advertise these interfaces to the ERGRP, tunnels interfaces to the ERGRP, the tunnel will work. But the point is, uh, we would like to make a tunnel in order to you know, add more security. So, or sometimes there are uh, servers that we use tunneling for them. It is better to have a static route for that. How? I'm going to show you. I would say IP route, if you want to go to this network from here, we get here, we are here for. If you want to go to this network, you should go via the tunnel. So via this interface. IP route 192.168.1.0, 255, 255, 255, 0. And the next up is 172.16.1.1. And here, IP route 192.168.2.0, 0, go via the tunnel uh, 16.1.2. If I'm not mistaken, the IP addresses, it should work. So let's trace. Yeah, we can see that. It goes via the tunnel. Very good. So now we have the tunnel. The tunnel will work. Before going to the GRE part, there is a point, there's a fine thing that we should uh, bear that in mind, we should think of that. We are talking about security. So the next step is to remove or omit this network and this network at the routers on the ERGIP routing protocol. And again, check that. So. In order to believe me, show uh, do show run. Let's see the configuration. We have a router EIGRP, and this is the network that we're gonna remove that. So router EIGRP 10, no network 192.168.1.0. That's it and do the same here router eigrp 10 and no network 192.168.2.0 and it can still ping so it is good it directly goes from this way but uh if we take a look at the GRE tunnel packet, it's a unicast IP packet, and exactly this is the thing that we have in the IPsec tunnel. As we put a knife into a sheath, now we need to put the GRE tunnel into a sheath that we call that IPsec tunnel to make it more and more secure. So let's do it. How? The first thing. Uh, let's go to the interface, interface tunnel 0. We can do crypto map. But what is crypto map? It will act exactly uh, like a VPN. That, that, that This is the thing that we're not going to do that. So do not, we do not do any uh, crypto map. We have what? We have tunnel. We need protection and IPsec. And as, at this point, we need a profile for that. So let's go and make a profile instead of any VPN, ACL, I don't know, that things. We need a profile. Let's go to the profile. So it's it. And let's do that. We need to crypto, ISAKMP, policy. We need the policy number. It's a priority. I would say 10. So the encryption, what are the options? 3D, yes. Authentication. I'm going to use the pre-share key. And hash, MD5. Let me show you the options. The other option, the MD5, I think, is the more robust. And Hellman Group. I'm going to choose Hellman Group 2. You can choose whatever you want. And exit. This is the first part. And let's continue. Crypto, ISA, KMP. As we assign the pre share key here, as we assign the pre share key here, so we should tell that. What is that? Uh, it is not very recommended to use something common, but in this video, I'm going to use my name. This is my pre share key, and we need the address. We are here, I think. Yeah, we are at R1, and we're gonna do what? We're gonna 
do the authentication. So the IP address that we should mention at that command uh, is neither this IP address nor this nor this. Exactly the destination. The destination. So IP address 30.1.1.2, and then after doing that, let's crypto ipsec transform set. Uh, we should uh, assign another name for that, maybe this and ESP and ESP for more and more authentication. We're going to make a uh, profile for that. So we're going to change the mode. They have two options, tunnel and transport. By default, it is on tunneling. But the point is when we are at tunnel, uh, we have an overhead in the header because the IP address will be, will be duplicated. So we're not going to do that. We will change that to the transport mode. It's about uh, 20 bytes less and it's better. So I think we are done with this part. And finally, crypto IPsec profile set. Mm, it needs a name. I would say secure GRE maybe and set transform what was that this one two three and we are done now we uh, interview or we advertise the algorithm security algorithm and now we have the profile so just we should assign everything to the uh, tunnel so let's go exit interface tunnel zero and we can say tunnel protection IP security profile secure GR good everything is done now and if we do show crypto IP sec association we'll see still there is no packet encapsulated and in order to show we have a part of IPsec we cannot ping because one part we get that this part is now encrypted with the pressure key but this part is not so definitely we cannot ping when we can do it when we uh, do all of the things that we've done before the same I mean the pressure key that algorithm whatsoever all of them the same at R4 then again we will have our tunnel so I'm gonna pause the video do exactly the same on R4 and show you the result of that in order to save the time so I've done everything the same and just there is one part that it could be different and the profile name it could be different I didn't but it could be it's okay but the all of the uh, ciphering and uh, pressure everything is the same so now before that look no packet encapsulated and uh, we couldn't ping that so let's do the ping again now we can ping it perfect and if we choose this command again we'll see the number of encapsulated data and if we do a ping dash t and just do it repetitively we'll see the encapsulated packet increased look so this is the concept and the last thing that I'm gonna show you show interface tunnel zero this is the bandwidth of the tunnel it's a variable because it's a logical interface not a real interface and if we can see here there are some information uh, uh, information about the profile about the security about the things that we've done to the tunnel and this is the idea of the ipsec tunnel and the tunneling uh, and now this tunnel is more robust more secure and you can share everything you want before that if we uh, had wireshark we would be able to uh, sniff some packets the uh, somehow drawback of the jury tunnel is that packet can be a sniffed by packet sniffers like Wireshark but now uh, Wireshark or whatever packet sniffer uh, will not be able to sniff uh, any packets 
these are the concept of RPSEC tunneling and tunneling and uh, I hope you enjoyed I hope it was good for you don't forget to subscribe the channel bye everyone